Hello everyone and welcome to Forza Horizon 5. Today we are testing out the Zonda R and the Huayra R. Let's find out which is best with a series of challenges. If you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get right into this. You're donating a very expensive vehicle. It's quite difficult on the sand, actually. Speaking of expensive vehicles, why would you spend this much money on a car designed to go to a racetrack, which we're going to do for our first challenge? Excellent. Count us in, Petrol. Three, two, one, go. So our first challenge is basically an A to B race, 2V racetrack. V Horizon Mexico Circuit, that is. First person to get there gets one point, first person to three points, wins and has a better car. I've already messed up my sense of navigation. Yeah, you, you've gone the other way. Let's hope this track doesn't have... Oh, we're going off-road. Brilliant! If you want to see us go off-road in these vehicles in real life, don't forget to subscribe and donate some money using the Super Thanks feature. Quite a lot, in fact. Yes. Uh, yes, um, what I was trying to say before I suddenly realised we're going off-roading is... Let's hope there are no noise limits at this track, because apparently that thing you're driving is too loud for them. Wait, is yours quieter than mine? I don't know. I'm unaware of if this has the same problem or not. That's because that's thoroughly uninteresting. Why would you want a racetrack based wire? Surely that's the same as theory as your car. But no, but the wire is a lot more refined in my opinion. To be fair, if of any if I could have any car in the world currently, I'd have a Huayra BC Roadster. Yeah, this is essentially one of those, but for the race track. It isn't, though, because it's an R, not a BC, and it also isn't a Roadster. It's, but what if I don't want a car named after an American property de um, developer? Is that what it's named after? Yes. I didn't know. What, what, what's it stand for, then? Is it Benny Mr. Coyola or, Benny Coyola or something weird? I see. Isn't he the guy who made the stupid bouncing buggy for Forza? I'm sure that... Ow! Oh, what the oh, bloody... The, the pinhole choller. Oh, right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Apparently he was the first Pagani customer. I may have put this car in a tree. How far? What was your top speed, by the way? Uh, 200 and many things. I don't actually know. Mine was 220. Oh no, oh no, rocks. Ow. Come on, please stay in the rocks so I have a chance of beating him. And away we go. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I've also put it in the rocks. Victory to Purple Petrol 13 in the Huayra R, thanks to my sensible navigation and a tree. Currently 1 0. Time for the next challenge, which is a proper race. I, I, I think, in terms of the looks of these two cars, I think. The, Hua the base Huayra looks better than the base Zonda, but the Zonda yes. R looks better than the Huayra R. Yeah, it does. This car's just weird, and I don't both really know of them... how or why. I'd... And both of them look better than the Utopia. Well, yes. Is that the world's biggest disappointment? Yeah, the, the Apologies Pontiac if Aztec looks better than the Pagani Utopia. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I'm just... I think they just tried to recycle too much rather than just do something completely new. I thought they just had too many boxy bits that don't really make sense. Ow. Did I start ahead of you? I can't remember. I'm not sure. Oh, wow, you are faster. Oh, whoops, I wasn't concentrating on where I was going and ended up... At yes, I'm not sure how much power yours has compared to this. I know this is 40 this, kilos lighter. This sounds completely generic in terms of Forza. We're being beaten by an aerial atom, which is currently having a fight with a Chinese thing. How pretentious is yes. it having a number one on your car? Uh, I bought it like this. <laughs> I know. Which means someone made it like that. Actually, no, that's true. Having a one on your car is just... <laughs> why would I? Why would I represent that? Ah! Oh no! Whoops! Wait, what? Why did that Actually, ghost? This isn't Why are you ghosting? So Why are you ghosted? I'm not ghosted. Come back We're here! We're both being eaten by a Chinese electric track-only car. This is not. Yeah, because I keep crashing. And... Well, well, Chinese apparently. The atom is murder. Broccoli nation. Why was I looking behind me instead of where I was? 
For God's sake, fail. This is the second race that you've lost for the car which you prefer. The interior of this car... Why has he got a rev limiter on the steering wheel? And one... It's and a digital a one... Limiter. On the screen. This is... What? Uh, also, I love it when super expensive cars have, like, sponsorship stickers on them. Like, as if you didn't make enough from selling it. Right, so it's 2-0 to petrol after my failure. In the petrol is driving me to RR as a reminder. I think it's, that means it's already time for a drag race. Yes. Why? What? Okay, right. How? Oh, God. I think we should check out the horsepower and weight figures before we do that. That's, That's where it thing. spawned me. So apparently I have 838 horsepowers. 838 horsepowers? I have 739, so that's a 99 I, less. Yes, and I weigh exactly 1,100 kilos, yes, which I, I weigh think more is 40 than less than yours. I'm 1,150. Yes. Three, two, one, go. This is for the Zonda. This is for... I don't know. I don't know if I messed up a gear um, shift because I'm looking at the interior view instead of the speed and the Forza. Yes. Petrol the, wins. Yes, the, the newer car is quite a lot faster. Yes, but it doesn't do that. Neither does mine, well, it does apparently. That. Again, if you wish to donate a couple of million dollars, we will do this challenge in real life. So well, feel free it, to do that. for the road legality problems, yeah, but well, we yes. Don't have, we, if they donate enough money, we can solve that problem. I see. If you donate enough money and we somehow find out how to do it, we will do this in real life. And on that note, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do consider liking and or subscribing. Don't forget to check out Purple Petrol's channel for his point of view of this video and have a great wrestling game content. If you have any suggestions for future challenges, please put them in the comment down below. Other than that, have a nice day. Goodbye.